everybody, I'm Deepa Mehta, and I'm going to be talking about the art of performance. I don't know how it relates to Toronto or to Delhi, but I guess it does because I can, being in Toronto, I can tell you I've been inspired by Delhi, and it feels right because it's home. Um, you talk about acting, that's performance, and uh, you know, we get a film together, and uh, finally we get the money together, and uh, we're about to shoot, and I say, let's stop, can we rehearse? And that's the magical moment, because before shooting, before the cameras come out, actors come together, and we go through the text, we interpret it, people talk about their characters, we have line readings, and we shoot. Five years ago, a sort of miracle happened. Uh, you know, I'd rehearsed in the Western method of rehearsing, which is uh, generally to be realistic about the interpretation of your lines. And I went to Delhi and met a friend who is a theater director in, uh, in Delhi. And she said, have you ever heard of the Natya Shastras? And I said, no. And uh, she said, well, check them out. It's, they're the oldest texts in the world of dramaturgy, the oldest manual of drama in the world. They're 5,000 years old, and they're about 1,000 pages you know, thick. And I said, so? And she said, well, it's all about every aspect of theater whether it's design, whether it's makeup, whether it's the text, whether it's movement, whether it's costumes, and whether it's performance, and how you approach that as a director. So I started reading the Natya Shastras. The Natya Shastras are written in Sanskrit, but thanks to Amazon, they, somebody translated them, and you can actually get them. So, uh, so I started reading them, and it was, and there was a story which was the origin of the Natya Shastras, which is sort of shrouded in mythology. And, uh, and I think it really got to me. And I want to share the story with you. The story is the world was made and Brahma, our trinity, the Hindu trinity, Brahma, who's the creator, Vishnu, who's the preserver, and Shiva, who's the destroyer, was, they were feeling sort of really thrilled with themselves. You know, lots of humans, lots of animals, lots of everything is fine. And, and then Vishnu said to the creator, he said, you know, we've done it all, but it's kind of boring. So Brahma said, what, what do you think we need now? And he said, entertainment. We need entertainment. A world without entertainment is boring. So Brahma thought about it. He said, well, we'll have to get somebody to write about entertainment. It sounds like Canada a bit, <laughs> you write about things. Uh, but, uh, so they said, okay, who should we get to write about it? And um, uh, Brahma said, what about the saint Bharat Muni? And Vishnu and Shiva said, why him? And Brahma said, well, he's been married a hundred times. He's got therefore a hundred wives. He's got a thousand sons a thousand daughters and many grandchildren. I think a person who is, can live in a community and share the emotions that, that erupt in a family is the one who should write about theater. This made imminent sense to everybody, and that's why Bharat Muni went and wrote the Natya Shastras. An aspect of the Natya Shastras, which is amazing, is about the art of performance. Basically, what the Natya Shastra does is define nine emotions that are extremely important for any actor. These are called a ras, R-A-S, which is an essence, an essence of an emotion. And the nine rases are, there's love, there's uh, compassion, there's humor, there is bravery, fear, repulsion, my favorite dress, wonderment, and peace. So these nine emotions are the ones that an actor has to have 
innate knowledge about and to be able to access it is very important. So what, what is written in the Natya Shastras is that make a grid of nine, so, you know, on the floor, let's, let's say you make out, uh, you know, you draw a grid of nine emotions and you write down what each, in, the, in each box, what that emotion is. And then an actor uh, that I want to say, uh, to, to, to takes a line from his text and let's say the line is, I love you very much. And he walks around the grid and he just stops when I tell him to stop. Whichever box he happens to be in, that's the box he will use to say the word, I love you. Now, he might have landed in the box of anger. How will he, will he say, I love you, if he's angry? How will he say, I love you, when he is, has a sense of wonderment? So this is what an actor does in every emotion. The point is, love is a complex emotion. And in order to have a complex performance, you have to be able to tap into these emotions to give that performance. And this is what the Rust Box does. So in Toronto, about three years ago, uh, I used it for the first time uh, and uh, before we shot a film. And it was very interesting. We were in a condo somewhere in downtown. And there we were using the Rust Box on the 13th floor and going from one, and actors from Toronto and India were working together, and we were going from one box to the other. And it was magical. And I think that's what the art of performance is, that you can take something from another culture, bring it into another, and make it work. And for me, as, as an actor from the diaspora of India, it's, it's wonderful to be able to use the tools from other cultures and bring them into the, into, into the country that I now belong. And I really wanted to talk about this and to share it with you, and I hope you get an opportunity to just look into the Rust Box, because the Rust Box is not just about performance. It's about also dance. It's about music. It's about life. Thank you. Thank you.